Oh my goodness, our beloved, our another is going through another huge transformation. Setting boundaries. Creating clarity within her own head. To set a boundary, you first need to establish what that boundary is. And it flows from when people treat you in not such a nice way and you feel wounded or abandoned or hurt in some way. And it can sit there and fester and you wonder what's wrong with you and why people don't treat you well. Well, maybe people don't treat you well because they don't know what you expect because you have never spoken up. Or maybe they don't know or they don't care because of who they are and how they were raised or what their expectations are of people who come into their lives. So as you experience what doesn't feel good, You can then go within and figure out what your options are. I don't wish for people to treat me this way. But just setting a singular point on a cluster map does nothing. We would recommend that you draw an actual line that says, well, Based on this experience that I had that did not feel well, I realize how others may not really understand what my needs are, what my expectations are. And then to come up with, well, I think this is what I need from people in order to feel respected and heard and loved. And it is okay if they choose not to meet or honor that boundary. It just simply means that I will walk away or show them the door. But you can't really figure out what these boundaries are until you go within and really ask yourself, why did this particular act or lack of action bother me where is my core wound and where is my core need and how can I express to others how important this is and if they choose not to be in my life then that's all I need to know And then I can always choose to renegotiate the boundary. But if it is something that is really critical for the core of my well-being, why would I negotiate that? And this need not only be in a romantic relationship, it also should apply to your friendships as well as your work environment and being out in the world in general. You get to choose who you allow into your lives and on what terms, but you can't really establish them until you know who and what you are. And the boundaries that other people establish need not be your boundaries. You are a unique individual. And what works for you may not work for somebody else. So don't look for the guidance outside of yourself. And if you do, listen carefully to the advice given and determine whether or not that actually resonates with you rather than blindly following. We are moving into the Aquarius age where each of you gets to define or re 
define yourself. <sighs> Huge release. Let everything go that no longer serves you. We know we say that a lot, but every time something or someone irritates you, look at why. Is it a false judgment that you have? Or is it an internal boundary that just got violated somehow? And it may also be a false belief system. So we've spoken about that plenty in the past. Look for it if you have greater interest. Finding yourselves is on the fast track right now where each of you are noticing an increase in the speed of change and iterations in your life. If something happened once a week, it may be once a day now. Time is speeding up, not in the literal sense, but the rate at which you are expected or being called upon to heal and to grow. As the vibration of Mother Earth gets higher, the water that you are in is getting warmer. And no, our goal is not to boil the frogs. Our goal is to create a warm, loving environment where you finally feel safe enough to speak up about, where you feel traumatized, where you feel hurt, where you feel not heard, and why. And as you begin to explore these inner voices or knowings in your mind, body, soul, or wherever, you will begin to transcend some of your trauma. Not only heal from it, but transcend. Yes, sir, another. We said that as you transcend your trauma, you will feel a lightness in your light body that glows even brighter because it is experiential knowledge that has been fortified to magically create a resiliency within you that you didn't have before and couldn't have without these particular traumatic experiences. So you will transcend and transmute them into actual benefits and gifts. But like everything else, it will take time because we move at your pace, at your pace that is ideal for you to heal and integrate your traumatic experiences so that your light body can literally be lighter while becoming more dense in this Aquarian age of introspection and becoming your own best friend and lover. And so it is. Namaste.